Welcome students to English 1302. This is a course that is primarily based in reading and the study of literature. In this class, we will start with uh, reading fiction and short stories, and we will proceed there to poetry. And after that, we will finish the semester by reading a modern play together. The uh, course text is this one. It's called the Norton Introduction to Literature, but you should know that you don't have to go out and buy a physical copy of this textbook. And if you can see, it's a pretty big one. It would be a lot to lug around in a backpack, and this way you don't have to worry about forgetting it. What will happen when you are signed up for the course in Blackboard This is that this book is an inclusive access, so it will be available starting day one of your Blackboard access. So you will have this book. We will register for it in class. I will show you in just a minute where the textbook will be, but you don't need to worry about purchasing this. It's already purchased for you when you sign up for the course. My name is Dr. Worms Baker. I know that that is a very strange name. It's just like it sounds, like a baker of worms. And I love teaching this 1302 class. I have always enjoyed reading, and one of the things that gives me a lot of satisfaction is helping students to hopefully find a way to enjoy and relate to what they read in this college course. We will cover a variety of authors from classics to more modern voices. For example, uh, we'll read a Native American poet mixed in with poets from the, the 19th and 18th centuries. So we will read just a little bit of everything in this class and all forms of fiction. The course is primarily a reading course, but there are two major assignments that you will do. One is a character analysis. <clears throat> and you'll learn more about that in weeks two and three. And the other is a little bit of research. Well, you, were, you will pick a fictional story to research literary criticism over and write a literary analysis. Don't let that scare you off. It's not as bad as it sounds. Primarily what you're doing in this course is a lot of reading and discussing, but those are your two big essays and they're the only essays you write for this course and the purpose of that second essay which is required of all English 1302 courses in our department is really to help you learn research skills that can transfer to any other class. So let's take a look at our Blackboard course and see how to navigate that. Once you get into the course you're going to see something kind of like this up at the top and you'll see this icon in your Blackboard as well. When you see the, the images of whatever book I have for your section there, you'll know that that's our 1302 reading course. And you'll see my instructor information and a little bit about me when you log in there. There is another page where this information is basically repeated just to make sure that you've got it everywhere you click essentially. So if you need to get a hold of me, You'll have my office hours and locations, my phone, and my email. The syllabus is located in this folder under Syllabus and Schedule, and we will click on that here in just a minute. This course is organized like probably many of your SPC courses are. It will run in weeks. And so I'll release just a week at a time. You're only going to see week one when you get logged in, and there's not going to be much there, so don't worry about it. But it will be a week-by-week -week course for 16 weeks. Our course syllabus is here, and when you click on it, it's going to open the syllabus. And I do want to run through just a few important things there. So you will find a course description if you want just a little more details about what you do in 1302 you'll find that here along with some student learning outcomes and a lot of those pertain to research being able to analyze texts 
And then the bulk of what we do in this course is in number seven, to read or view works of literature, analyze literary devices, and be tested over our knowledge through lots of different kinds of assignments. This is a really important part of the syllabus for you in order to help you understand how your final grade will be calculated. So these are all done in percentages and they total out to 100. We'll have reading quizzes and different assignments with reading that will be worth 25% of your total grade. Discussions and active participation in class is worth 15%. This character analysis essay I told you about is worth another 10% of your grade. And then all of these assignments are part of one essay. So this research essay that you write We'll start off with an annotated bibliography. I know that's a big long term and I'll explain that in class. That's worth 5% of your grade. It's basically where you're going to gather sources and show me your sources. And then your outline for that paper will be worth 10%. You'll write a rough draft that is worth 5%. You'll do a peer review worth 5% and you will complete a final draft of the paper which will be worth 15 percent. So all of these highlighted grades taken together will make up a considerable bulk of your grade because this research portion of the class is really critical to showing that you have accomplished what you need to in English 1302. But I think the other nice thing about that is that really you're only doing one essay here and you're getting a lot of credit just for going through all the steps of the writing process to do it. So it's worth taking the time to do well and do right and just know that those aren't all five different essays. Those highlighted percentage scores are just one essay where you get credit for doing all the steps. That's a good thing. You will have a midterm exam for this course around week eight where 5% and that court that midterm will be cumulative but we will review for it and then you'll have a final exam or five percent which will only cover the play that we read at the very end of the course so that final exam will not be cumulative for the course it will just test your reading of the play that we will read at the semester's end now there are some other important things in the syllabus like attendance policy I do want to emphasize that you will do better if you come to class. I try to help you accomplish as much as possible during class. My classes aren't really what I would call lecture courses. I do some mini lectures, but then we also spend some time accomplishing things together so that you have my help and hopefully some motivation to work while you are in our class time. Uh, so the recommendation for a face-to-face -face course is only three excused absences. Really, if you're missing more than that, you're missing some information that it's important for you to know to be able to be successful in your projects and assignments. Uh, there's a late work policy here, and we will talk about all of this in class, so I'm not going to belabor it right now. But... If you want to take a look at that syllabus, it's there for you. Under, in the Blackboard course again, under the course content is where you are going to see what we will do in the class organized by weeks. And I've broken this up into things we will read, things we will watch, and things that we will do, our assignments. Uh, so those will be, again, you won't see all of these when you log into the course. You're just going to see week one, and I will release those one at a time. And hopefully it'll help you to have this sectioned out so that you know what all you're supposed to do for each week. Other things to be aware of, the course resources we have free tutoring provided in this course in all courses and there's a link there that you can go in and get your free tutoring and the rubric for the research paper which is where all of those several different assignment grades go to is available for you to look at from day one in terms of where you get your 
textbook, when you go into your course content, there's a link for the course textbook and it shows here the Norton Introduction to Literature. You'll click on that first weekend. We will have to get you registered for the course, but it's not a big deal and we will do that together. You also have uh, in another spot, this where it says ebook course textbook, you also have it here. So when you're in the weekly folders looking at what you need to do, you can always just go up above and click there. But if you just need to get into the textbook and you don't want to have to click into the course content, you'll be able to access it here as well. So um, week one, it will be really helpful if you have logged in. If you happen to have looked at the syllabus, it's going to help you understand all the course requirements. Um, if you have a device that you can bring to class, that's great because we are not in a lab. And so it will be really helpful for you to be able to log into this digital form of your textbook. Not, not required, but helpful for sure. So if you have a device, I would encourage you to bring it. Other than that, I'm hoping that you'll be able to look around, get a feel for the course, I'll be sharing a lot more about me and hoping to get to know a lot more about you as we learn to appreciate literature, enjoy discussing it together. That's part of the fun is that you get to go in and hear what all your classmates think about these crazy stories and poems and play that we're going to read. And I'm hoping that it's going to be an enjoyable and fulfilling semester for you. And I look forward to seeing you. If you have any questions as you're looking around before the class starts, feel free to reach out to me. And otherwise, I will see you next week.